recording, please ask. This is just another lesson. I would expect that you guys go ahead and get this done. Um, so we're going to go through kind of the process. Um, again, the same thing. But if we want to graph y equals 5x, what the heck did I write? y equals 5x minus 8. All right, so if we're going to pro solve a problem like this, I did leave this um, open spot blank so you guys can write down uh, basically the process that we're going to use. And it's pretty much the exact same thing, ladies and gentlemen. Well, first thing we're going to do is we are going to write the equation in slope-intercept form. Now, I understand, ladies and gentlemen, that that slope-intercept form is an equation, and this is the inequality. But we'll get to the inequality in a second. All right. Um, step number two, I always like to identify the slope and the y-intercept. If you're having trouble graphing, this is usually the first thing you want to make sure that you do. Identify the slope and the y-intercept. Um, remember, the slope is going to be your coefficient of x, which would be m, and y-intercept is b. So in this case, I have my equation in slope or my inequality in slope-intercept form. My slope, I'm going to write as a fraction. And my point, I'm going to write as a coordinate point. Yes, you can say slope is 5, y-intercept is negative 8. right? But that doesn't really help us with graphing. When we're graphing, we use the y-intercept as a coordinate point. And we use the slope to find the other points as a ratio of the change in y over the change in x. So we always want to write our slope as a fraction, if it's not already written. So then the next thing is is to graph using the slope and the y-intercept. Okay, So if we go to our coordinate point, 0 comma negative 8, remember the origin is at 0, 0. So we're just going to go down negative 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, Then we're going to use the slope to find another point. Um, so from my y-intercept, rise over run, I'm going to go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then to the right one. All right, um, we could go down 5 and to the left, but you guys can see that's going to kind of take us off the graph, right? So I'm not going to do that in this case. Now, before we connect, all right, um, graph using slope and y-intercept, remember that less than or greater than is dashed. Less than or equal to and greater than or equal to is solid. Okay. Do you guys remember when we graphed one variable inequalities when it was less than or greater than we had that open point? Right? That means that solution was not included. So if we have a less than or greater than, that means the line, all the points that are on the line, are also not going to be included. Somebody here? Or is that next door? OK. So then we go ahead and graph our line. It's dashed, right? That's a greater than. Now, the next thing that we need to do, oh, hello. thank you very much. Now, the next thing that we need to do is determine the shading. Because it's not an equation. We're not graphing a line. We need to determine the shading. So my best advice is to determine shading using test point. Does anybody remember what the best test point ever to use was? Yeah? 0, 0, right? But it's not the best to use when the line goes through 0, 0. Fortunately, for in this case, our point does not go through 0, 0. So I'm going to test 0, comma, 0. Well, how do you test? Well, remember, 0, 0 is a coordinate point. You plug 0 in for x and 0 in for y, and you determine if it's true or false. 0 is greater than negative 8, which is true. Since my point is true above the line, that means all the points are going to be true above the line. So I'm just going to draw some lines here to represent that all points above the line are true. So if one point is true above the line, all points are true above the line. If one point is false below the line, all points are false below the line. Make sense? So we always want to shade what is true. Okay. Um, the other thing you guys can notice, as long as your equation is solved for y, you can see that the greater than will tell you that the points are going to be above the line. All right. If it's less than or less than or equal to, it would be the below line. But that only works when your equation is solved for y. OK? Only works in that case. Any questions on that? 